In this video, we'll discuss the IT terms MDM and MAM, what they have in common, and the four key differences between them. Mobile device management, commonly referred to as MDM, involves managing and securing a company's mobile devices on-premise or in the cloud. It enables IT admins to set up device configurations, install apps, force device updates, and enforce security policies such as multi-factor authentication, MFA, on devices. MDM is typically used for company-owned devices and is often used in conjunction with a mobile operating system's built-in management features. The best MDM software automatically generates reports, sends policy violation alerts, and backs up files and data, among other MDM best practices. Why? so that IT can immediately react to possible signs of a breach. MDM software can help you lock, shut down, and wipe devices to prevent unauthorized data access whenever you suspect malicious activity. MAM, or Mobile Application Management, on the other hand, ensures the safety and security of enterprise applications and the sensitive data within them. It allows admins to manage and secure the mobile apps used by their employees. MAM admins can institute application-level policies around activities such as downloading sensitive data, forwarding emails, or accepting incoming video calls from external parties. So what do MDM and MAM have in common? Both softwares are used to manage and secure mobile devices and apps, and both can be used in conjunction with a mobile operating system's built-in management features. But the similarities end there. There are four main differences between MDM and MAM. Number one, MDM focuses on managing the entire mobile device, while MAM focuses on managing specific mobile apps. This means that MDM gives admins more control over the device itself, while MAM only offers control over the data and functionality within the apps. Number two, MDM is usually reserved for company-owned devices while MAM can be used for both company and employee-owned devices. This means that admins often use MAM to manage apps on employees' personal devices that are used for work purposes. Number three, MDM offers additional security features such as single sign-on, SSO, and multi-factor authentication, MFA, that protect the entire device and its applications. With MAM, admins can only address security via application settings. That requires pre-configuring corporate apps and pushing configurations out to personal devices via MAM software. It's worth mentioning, MDM policies also support common IT compliance regulations and standards like GDPR, CCPA, SOC2 and HIPAA. MAM doesn't have built-in compliance capabilities. Number four. Lastly, both softwares require different IT workloads for success. With MDM, Admins can deploy settings and policies to multiple devices in a few clicks. Unfortunately, MAM is less automated. Admins have to jump in and adjust the software every time they add new applications, update existing applications, or remove old applications. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding MDM versus MAM. If you're looking for a cost-effective way to manage and secure mobile devices, check out JumpCloud. Admins can use JumpCloud MDM to set up device configurations, enforce compliance policies, and install apps from a single cloud-based console. Learn more at jumpcloud.com.